welcome back it's Shelby and today we are turning two different sizes of picture frame into candle holders so I have my two size frames this one's a two by three and it's got kind of a thicker um, frame around it and this one is three and a half by five so it's a slightly larger picture frame it's just got the silver rim so I'm going to be making these into tea light holders and small candle holders and one of them I'm going to decorate the glass so it's more of a lantern and then the other one's going to be just straight see-through um, candle holder. I'm going to be using hot glue, decorative tissue paper, and some Elmer's glue to make kind of a decoupage effect but I will link everything you need down in the description as always along with my socials. I hope you like the project and let's get going. So to start with we're just removing the backs, the little cardboard and the paper from all of the frames just to leave the glass and the frame. And now, because you can see there's no top of the frame there, and my glass is kind of wobbly, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to stabilize it. So just kind of pump some hot glue down here. A little bit right up here. And then put your glass in. I'm turning it over so it's sliding along the slides and then pushing it against the glue bases that I made. If you try to slide it this way, you're going to run glue streaks all the way down. Just press that firmly, give it a moment to dry, and nothing wiggles. So do this for all of the black frames. Now we're going to connect the frames together. So you just bring two up like that. Nice thick bead of hot glue just down the center hinge of them. And then bring it up at a 90 degree angle and hold it until the glue dries. When that side's dry, do the same with another. So just add your bead of hot glue down the center of both edges of the frames and push them together. Hold them at a 90 degree angle until they cool enough to support themselves and then attach the final piece. I did it um, sort of the way I was doing most of them with a flat edge and a bead down the center and holding it up and then when that dried I had kind of a box shape and so I just kind of went with that flipped it over and then tried to fit the glue gun in between the little corner pieces the little edges there I just got a bead of glue holding both of those together as well held that until it dried so that I knew it would maintain its box shape So now as your little candle holder is drying, you're going to remove the backs and inside paper, ooh that came out easy, of all of your larger silver frames. So I don't like kind of the thin edge and that I can't actually hold the candle in it. So I'm going to take one of the backs of one of the larger silver frames, just kind of rip this hinge off. There we go. And just use this as a cardboard backing. So measure it out. Just cut it right along that line. We're going to attach the base of the candle holder the same way we've been attaching basically everything with hot glue just run it around the edges and then put your bit of cardboard it could be from the frames or another piece of cardboard just on there to uh, glue it down and have a bottom okay so we are halfway done fully done with the first one here's how it turned out super cute at the end i'm going to put a little candle in both of them um, and just kind of show what that looks like. But it turned out really great, the little frames. I love the little boxing of the black. 
It can hold your candle inside because we put the cardboard in there. And now we're going to get started on the second candle holder, which is going to be more like a lantern almost. So you saw me remove the backings and everything from the frames. Now I'm just taking out the glass. That's what we're going to be working with. I'm holding it up like you can see it. It's clear. Sorry. Yeah. Not really, but it's there. Get the reflection in the window. Um, and I have this really pretty um, tissue paper that I found. And it's just white with silver swirls because it's a silver frame. Um, but you can really use any tissue paper you like. I thought this one was pretty. So basically what I'm going to do is cut rectangles out of my tissue paper to match the size of my glass, which you can't see. There we go. Um, and going to mix up a little bit of decoupage paste, so just some Elmer's glue and some water, and then be applying the tissue rectangles to my glass so that we can get that lovely paper lantern effect when it's all lit up as a candle holder. So I've got my glasses laid out on my frames, my tissue paper, this is some water and Elmer's glue that I'm going to mix up for attaching the tissue to the glass, just in like a little decoupage manner. And I'm just using a foam brush to um, do the adhesive, I guess, the watered down adhesive. Here we go. So just paint on your glue water mixture. Carefully lay on your tissue. Try to get out any bubbles. Just like that, and lay it out to dry. So this is a process you're going to want to continue with all the panes of glass and it is important to let them dry at least a little bit afterwards when you lay the tissue onto the glue water mixture on the glass it does get really fragile um, it's pretty easy to work with but you have to be a little bit precise when you put it on because the air bubbles you can only do so much with them you can see it kind of like adheres itself to it and those bubbles I can move it a little bit but you risk tearing it if there's a huge amount that you have to take off so just kind of run your finger over it the air bubbles do smush down pretty well um, but keep that in mind there's a little bit extra And now that all of my panes of glass are done with the tissue paper for my lantern effect, I'm going to glue the panes in the same as I did with the smaller frames. I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue here, and down here, tissue side out and careful not to touch the hot glue as I'm going up, it helps to stick your finger in there, press it down. And then since it is a rather thick frame, I'm just going in and putting in a bead of hot glue, which is going to dry solid and make sure that the glass doesn't move at all. And let that dry. So as with everything, since we want our lantern tea light candle holder to be symmetrical, you have to do the same thing on all four. So I'm basically just gluing down the tissue covered papers of glass, tissue side down, glass side in, and um, putting those beads of glue in there. Uh, like I said, they should dry solid and just be like little wedges between the edge of the frame and the glass so that when they dry, it just keeps it in place. Not even from like an adhesive point of view, just from like a wedge point of view so that was the idea behind that but get all four of your frames done let them dry and we will move on to the next step once your glass is dry inside we're going to do the same thing we did with the darker frames and that is line up your sides and put a nice 
thick bead of glue right down the center of them. I'll hold these up and dry them at a 90 degree angle. Once they're dry, I flipped them up just more for space on the camera than any other reason. You can leave them down, but propping them up works just as well. So go in with your second side and put a bead of glue down the center. Same thing as before. Hold them up at a 90 degree angle to dry. And then with the flat sides, I'm going to glue those together as well. Basically the same way we did in the construction of the smaller black frames to make the tea light holder. A solid bead down the center. Hold it up in a 90 degree angle to dry and you will have a box shape. Once you have that box shape, then you can glue down kind of in between the edges of the two connecting sides and that's just going to lock in your final side and you've got your lantern base. Same as before with the little black tea light holder, our lantern also needs a bottom because otherwise it's just a sleeve going over your candle and not actually a candle holder. So I'm repurposing the back panel of one of the frames, cutting it to size to fit the square and I'm just edging it with some hot glue. This isn't really going to like need to hold a lot of weight, it just, you know, you put the candle in there and set it down. It's more just to like catch the drippies and stuff. So. I mean, you can use a stronger glue if you want, but I don't think it's really necessary. So I'm just going to finish up with my hot glue, put it into place, press it down, and smooth out any of the bumps and edges so that it will lay uh, flat on the table. Alright guys, so here's how they turned out. Here is the silver one I was just working on. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a super, really glamorous, expensive tea light lantern. I love the reflection of the metallic tissue paper. I think this one turned out great. I also like my little tiny simple black frame one. This one worked out as well, but it's definitely more of just like a tea light holder. You know, it's a little framed box tea light holder. So super cute. I do like this one as well. I'm going to pop some candles in there so you can see uh, what they look like when they're all lit up. Like I said earlier, I will link everything you need down in the description if you want to make your own along with my socials. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you like the video, consider subscribing and I will see you here again soon. Bye.